Uh, hi. This is Brian from Brian Travel. How are you guys today? Today I'm at the Millennium Hilton Hotel at Seoul, South Korea. This is located at the nearby Namsan or Korean South Mountain, which is a really famous mountain in South Korea. And also is right in front of a Seoul station, which is a major subway station at South Korea. Also, there is a 7 lock casino built next to the hotel, so it's there are a lot of interesting things going on. The location is really awesome. I am a Hilton Diamond member, so I got a number of different upgrades. I got access to the second lounge, I got a complimentary breakfast, I got a room with a nice view at the high floor. So, as usual, you receive my room, the lobby, executive lounge, complimentary breakfast, fitness center, and a number of other things. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see other videos regarding hotels and a place to visit as I travel around the world. So without further ado, let's see what the hotel looks like. Millennium Hilton Seoul is located at the following address. 50 Seoul Lo, Nam De Mung No, 5 Ga, Junggu, Seoul, South Korea. This is the center of the Seoul. So if you take the subway, you take an exit at Namsan Park, which is 11. Also, it's nearby Nam De Mung, which is South Gate. So the interesting thing is that you might not like it, but you have to climb up the hill to get to the hotel. So it's quite a labor. So, but the hotel itself is very lovely. It's a huge, tall building that can be seen from very far away. It's gigantic, but so great. So now, let's go inside the hotel and see what it's like. So personally, I really love the lobby here. I think this is my favorite among the all the hotel lobby I've been in to South Korea. I found the one lobby I like better at the Tokyo, Japan. But so far, this is just dead to my liking. So the staff members are like really helpful. And interesting thing is that this is also selected as one of the best or finest property in the world in 2019, which is just the last year. So the lobby is very huge. I just like how they set it up everything, you know, they just get so open and then there's so many things going on. And there are shops and bakeries, which is great. So you can kind of do like, you know, like the eye, eye shopping and just uh, and then look into that what kind of things do they have. It's not like a huge shops area, but still I think it's nice to check out what kind of things they have. This kind of reminds of a Shinjuku Hilton Hotel at the Tokyo, Japan. So it's pretty good if you just like to see and then just see around. So it was during the Christmas time, so you can find some Christmas decoration at the time. And then the lobby again is very huge. So also the decoration is just differently because it's the Christmas is awesome. But I think it was just great. So it's also at two levels. So the one at the base level is kind of connected. So as you can see that like they put this nice interior with the, all kind of the moving kind of you know fun toys in here, which is I think this is really interesting. I really love things like that, really small mini stuff that is very uh, cute and then also very just uh, like to you know see all kind of stuff here. So I personally like, really like the interior here and I think just if you just walk around and see, I think you're gonna like it as well. The so one really interesting thing about this hotel which stands out is the casino built next to the hotel. It's for the, for the foreigners only. I could go inside and check out, but no foreigner could be taken. Let's go check out my room and see what it's like. We're almost there. So there you go. So my loom. It's not the executive loom or anything like that, but I really got a nice view. Um, I kind of desired the Namsan tower view, but I got the one close to the Seoul station. So I think it was pretty decent too. I could watch people and then I could get a timeless video. So I just like the you know, view overall. There's a lot of things going on and you get a not totally 180 degree view, but close enough. Get a pretty good decent amount of view here. 
so that the desk the desk is not huge but still I could it would be productive here and then um, there's a small sofa or the chairs next to it there's a like the you know in room dining menu and there's a plenty of electronic plug-in they use 110 volt or 20, 220 volt and then you could control every the lightning and everything just with the like, control drinks and snacks inside the fridge and outside are not free but the water there's a complimentary water and the coffee option there but it's just simple one there's a pajama and then just that there's also safety lock the restroom is pretty okay, nothing special, just that, you know, typical Hilton Marriott property feel like the restroom, but it just does it satisfy everything I need, so nothing to complain over there, so it's good. So if you saw other videos, the hotel would be a good video, you kind of can figure out that I like to work out every day. And it's located to third floor. Fitness center is pretty small, but I think it has everything I need. It has weight, and it has a you know headset you can, which you can borrow. There is a towel and water. Some bottle water you have to buy for. It's not free. So there's a enough weight and all kind of things you can equipment you can do workout. But the interesting thing about this place is that there is a golf practice range. So if you like to practice golf, I think there's some ways that you have to kind of sign up and things like that. It's available. And there's a yoga like a room, I don't know if there's a class or not. And there's also a swimming pool which looks pretty nice. So I didn't go inside any restaurant in this hotel, but there are a lot of restaurants built inside hotel. And there's a Chinese option, there's a Japanese option, all kind of option. I believe those are quite expensive side, but if you like to go and check out, those are the restaurants available, so it's good. The executive lounge is located at the two floor. One is 19 and 21st. They have the same view, but one at the 19 is for kids and children as well. 921st floor is only for adult, so just note that. Executive lounge, which is really nice, but I think compared to other executive lounge, I think it's not the best looking lounge. But what is special about this place is that it's not the, the best looking lounge, anything like that. But the view is just awesome. You get an awesome view. I think this is one of the truly the best view uh, for Executive Lounge in the South Korea because this is one of the landmark place. So I personally really like the, the entire. Um, this is more than 180 degree view of the Nansan Tower and then all the things around it. So I really love the view. And there are plenty of seats. Again, there's two uh, Executive Lounge, 19th and 21st. So I think there's a well, kind of balance out a little bit. So there's a plenty of seat, there's always a lot of seat available, so it's good. And snacks and drinks are available pretty much all the time. The simple drinks, snacks and drinks. So you can also get a newspaper and things like that. But also like if you get a complimentary water and soda, or even like for the coffee, those things are available as well, so it's good. Let's check out the tea time executive lounge. So it's during afternoon, I think till 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon. So it's a tea time but snacks available like sandwiches. This vary from time to time to food options, but there are different simple options available. Again, what's best about this Xilong is that I get a nice view with the Namsan view. So I just by looking at it and sitting down here and eating and just like drinking tea, just you know, it tastes good and looks good and just feels good. So it's good. In the hotel talk about cocktail time, what they really mean is dinner time, full dinner time. It's no exception in this hotel. You don't get the best of food here, but I think still to my taste and it's to my liking. So depending on what you like, you might like it or not, but I really like the food option here, which is tasting great. But it's not the best looking or the full buffet option like other hotel been so far. The drinks menus and wines and those things are kind of, you know, standard but it's still good. So if you like, like just like simple cocktail, you can make them. Okay, and I try all kind of dinner options here, like during different days, and they always vary from time to time. And sometimes I get a like, you know, simple beef and then things like that. Sometimes I get a like, you know, chicken dinner, sometimes I get the meatballs and all kind of stuff. So depending on what kind of days you come in, 
I think there's some kind of ways they say they have like patterns and what kind of food offering they have. But so you can get a different um, food menu depending on the days you come in. So I think just that that variation is pretty good. <laughs> Lastly, there's a breakfast at the second lunch. Which I get for free. Also because I'm a um, Hilton Diamond member. The breakfast is quite simple and but is adequate. So I would get all kind of different like salmon and then all kinds of those different stuff. So it's again it's not the best looking about buffet or things like that, but you get a permission all kinds of things you need. Western option and the eastern option and all kinds of stuff. So if you just like to fill your hunger, I would just say this is pretty good. But again it's not the best looking um, breakfast, but I think it's pretty satisfactory. So again I get a nice view, so what can I ask for more? So so that's it for my review of the Millennium Hilton Seoul and Seoul South Korea. How was it? Anyway, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see other videos related to travel. It's a travel around the world that covers hotels, place to eat, and then place to visit, and things like that. Thanks for watching, and then again, see you next time.